In a world where clocks abound, we constantly ask, what time is it? But rarely do we stop to consider, what is time? In the July 25th Science News, our staff writers tackle this question. They take a look at time from three completely different perspectives, body, brain, and universe. When it comes to the body's clock, biologists ponder time from the perspective of evolutionary history. They want to know how and why life forms acquired internal clocks that guide everyday life. Molecular biology writer Tina Hessman Say explores the circadian clocks built into nearly every one of our cells and how they relate to the most primitive clocks found in archaea and algae. Our brain's take on time is a separate story. Neuroscience writer Laura Sanders explores how the clocks in our heads help us make sense of the world and what makes our perception of time appear to change as a consequence of our experiences. There are even some hints about how faulty timekeeping in the brain can factor into disorders such as schizophrenia. Perhaps the most brain-boggling exploration of time comes from physics writer Andrew Grant. He grapples with time in terms of gravity and the grandeur of the universe. Why does time always run forward, even though the laws of physics should permit it to tick backward? A new simulation points to gravity and suggests that the force may allow the universe to have one past, the Big Bang, and two futures. You can read about these explorations of time and more at www.sciencenews.org.